hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are continuing our registration and login system with email verification in php so guys now this is the part 5 last video of this series and now guys we are going to proceed with this verification type so while registration if you don't receive a mail on this if you don't receive a mail so at that time you need to resend the verification right so for that I have created one option over here like did not receive your verification email then resend so inside your login page I have just added this small design with the code so I'll just show you login page so this is a small content over here and let's click on resend so if you click on resend here you are going to resend email verification dot php file so this file I have already designed over here you can find this as simple over here you can see that container row column and a simple card over here and inside that card I have a card header with the heading recent email verification and small form tag with the action recent code dot php and method is equal to post and with the simple input tag with the name email and one simple button with the submit and named as verify button okay so let's see the output of this over here done so guys now let's start the coding for resending an email to this your mail id okay so let's start first just copy this recent code and copy this file and let's create a file paste so recent code.php your file is created let's start with it so first php open php close and let's begin with the if condition with the is set function we are going to check the button is clicked or not so let's call that using post method let's go back to a file and copy this button name so there's nothing much in this let's copy this button name and done and now let's call our input so before that we are going to check over there is it empty and we are going to trim that so let me just type not symbol and empty function and inside this trim function and now we are going to call the input name called email so this copy this name and paste over here email if it is correct means it will go inside else you are going to show the message using status is equal to where you will tell please enter the email field field and then guys we are going back to header location with the location back to recent this form only so I want to get back to this same page so let's copy and we'll give exit of zero save and now if it is success then you have to come over here so if you are using session make sure you are going to start your session start function done and let's get inside this let's type dollar email so we are going to create an email and then same this one only you are going to pass over here so for before passing you are going to check that mysql i real escape string escape string function where first your database connection space and then your input so for giving that dollar con this is your connection so for that we have already given in one file so let's include this file over here with the include function we are going to call that file dbcon.php save and now guys everything is set and let's write the query so dollar check email um let me type query is equal to where inside this select star from user table where email field column name email inside single quotes you are going to pass the variable dollar email 
with the limit 1 save and now let's execute this above or run this with the help of mysql query q u a r y query function where you are going to pass the database connection first and then your check query so let's pass that and now let's give a if condition if it is perfect else come out of this okay so to check that we are going to tell mysql number of rows if the record exists any one at least record then you have to go inside this let's copy this and if record is not there that time you need to show that so let's paste the same thing and change the message email is not registered please register now and this one will redirect to register.php file so let's copy this and paste over here that's it save and let's get back again to our verification email page and now let's type the code inside this so now over here we need to check whether the user is verified or not for example let me just show a demo over here for now if i type dg at gmail.com this is already verified email is already verified and you are going to again verify that so we need to check that right so for that let's do the code over here dollar row is equal to where i'm going to take a single record because we are going to give limit one so we will use that with the mysql i fetch array function fetch array function inside this we are going to pass this variable of your query execution and now let's give a if condition and check inside this so your column of verification is correct or not so let's get back get over here let us see verify underscore status it is one so which means it's already verified so let us just try with this and let's copy this verify status verify underscore status which will be double equal to if it is zero only then only he have to enter else he need to show over here else let's copy the same thing and paste over here and change the status let's give this as email already verified please login okay and send this to login.php file that's it let's save and now guys if it is not verified then you need to send the mail right so for that we need some data to send over there so let's create first one function we'll create resend email verify function in this you are going to pass the name dollar name dollar email and dollar verify underscore token save this and now after sending the mail you are going to show the status well, let's show over here verification email link has been sent to your email address okay save and now let's create a function so from where this name and email and verify token will be so we are going to fetch this things from your db only for example we are going to take the name of this row and store that in name variable same way we are going to take all the fields name email and verify token let's copy this verify token so this verify token make sure you, it matches from your column name and then email copy and paste that's it so let's create a function for this 
so first let me just minimize and over here let's create a function function with the name over here and we are going to pass all that dollar name dollar email and dollar verify token so these three fields we are passing so when you are passing this you want to send a mail to this so guys in previous in previous video part 2 of your registration we have sent a mail so let's copy that code of sending a mail so let's copy this same thing and get back to over here and paste so nothing much over here this is my mail and to import this classes let's copy that and import those things if you are not understanding about this mail please watch out the part 2 of the registration verification okay so let's save and everything your host tls and then your mail address dollar email and over here let's mention this as resend email verification from wonder of web it so now let's save this and again you need to give your as per your verified token link and then save and as simple after this a mail will be sent over there and then you are going to back to login page so verification email has been sent and then you are going to login.php uh, email already verified also you are checking right this will be move to this page so let us copy this and paste over here so to show this message on this page you need to write a code to show the status make sure you are going to start the session on this page session underscore start function and now let's type the code over here so let us copy from other page let's go over here simple code to show the message let's paste and now let's test guys so over here you can see that verify status is one which is already verified so let us just check with that already verified code what happens paste and let's submit email already verified please log in this message in your code has been shown okay so this process is done let's get back go over here let's make this verification status as zero and let's get back refresh paste and now guys let's submit so there is no mail only two mails are let me just delete everything done and now guys let me submit over here submit verification email link has been sent to your email address let's move over here let's refresh cool so you have got the mail over here you can see recent email verification from fund of web it let's click me on this to verify the token so let's click your account has been verified successfully so let's check that db over here so right now it was zero right so let me just refresh it will be one cool so we have completed that recent verification thing also so if you have not re received your email verification then this process will help you to resend the email verification so guys finally we have completed our register and login system with email verification process and thank you once again please subscribe like and share